Thanks, Ben. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, yeah, look, obviously, I'm, I'm here today to announce my retirement from uh, domestic state cricket at, at the end of this season. It's a decision that I haven't made lightly. It's something that I've, I've sort of thought about and wrestled with for, for quite a while now. And, but ultimately, I, I know the time's right. I feel incredibly honoured and grateful for the career that I've had with Western Australia over the last 15 years. Um, I've got so many great memories and made um, so many friends that, and friendships that'll, that'll certainly last a lifetime. Um, I'd specifically like to thank my wife Christy and, and my kids, my son Xavier and daughter Ella, who are here today. Um, they've always been a huge support to me. They've been um, around the world with me. Um, we've enjoyed all the good times and the bad times together. Um, they give my life some balance and meaning. You're often in a bubble in professional sport, but they, um, they keep life real for me and, and I can't thank them enough for that. I was a special person. I've known that since he came, um, started playing for WA. So um, I wish he could have been captain of West Australia for 10 years, not five years. I think we would have won a few more Sheffield Shields perhaps. So he's also got this incredible trait. I don't know how he does it. The only other person I know who can do it is Adam Gilchrist, who can be one of the boys and still be a really strong leader. Not many people can do that. Most people, leaders, there's usually a gulf between being one of the boys and being a leader. But um, So therefore, that's one of Vogue's strength is he's, not only the players like him, but they also respect him hugely. So. I certainly earned my opportunity um, through weight of runs in Shield cricket and, and I think that's how you should earn your baggy green and, and I think I did that. So, um, yeah, to, to play one test, I, I, I still remember the day I rang JL and, and gave him the good news that... Um, that I'd been picked on the, the tour of the West Indies and the Ashes and um, I loved every minute of the, the 20 tests. There was some, some brilliant highs um, to score 500s, to, to score 100 on debut. Probably my 100 out here at the Wackers it will probably be my favourite innings I, I would have thought in my career. Um, double hundreds in, in Hobart and um, Wellington and, um, and MCG, Boxing Day tests. Is, um, they're all brilliant memories. I'm incredibly proud of what I was able to do um, after such a late start and perhaps thinking that that opportunity wasn't going to come around. So, um, yeah, I've, I've worked incredibly hard to get to that point, so I certainly enjoyed it. Dale, there's some big names on the scoreboard out there. Does he sit comfortably alongside those names? As long as he doesn't take mine off the board. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, of course. I mean, his, his captaincy record speaks for itself. His numbers speak for itself. His test record speaks for itself. This, this very moment with so many people who don't need to be here, who are here, um, yeah, it speaks for itself. So there's no doubt with every, all the, everything that encompasses uh, Adam's career, he's up there with the great players of West Australian cricket.